I've been working at the Gurdon Institute for about four years now and I run the Next Generation Sequencing Facility here. The current form of sequencing, uh, that came about in the mid-2000s and that is about doing huge volumes of sequencing in the shortest amount of time possible. Before that, uh, people were doing things like capillary sequencing and uh, to compare what they were doing then with what we're doing now, I think it took them about 13, 14 years to sequence the whole uh, human genome the first time through cost them about three billion dollars. Nowadays we can get similar amounts of sequencing in six to eight weeks. I'm Ragini, I'm from Eric Miska's lab. The main focus of the lab is RNA biology and we utilize different model systems to understand it. I'm quite lucky to be at Gurdon because Gurdon has an amazing core uh, next generation sequencing facility which makes my life as a scientist quite easy. The Gurdon Institute offers technicians that do it for us and then we get the data from the sequencing almost the next day or within a week. That's really good for me because uh, once I know what's happening really quick, I can quickly decide which research direction to take. There is a saying that the data is the gold of the 21st century, but it's actually very abundant gold and the first problem that we have is the volume of data. So the sequencers are producing lots of data and only part of this data is relevant to the biological problems that we are working with. The second thing is to perform the statistical analysis. So the general goal of statistical analysis is to understand the meaning of the data and then uh, we want to simplify the message in the way that our readers can quickly understand it. So we are trying to visualize quite complex data structure in the simple illustrations. The data visualization is a little bit of mixture of mathematics and art because you have to be mathematically precise in the way that you are presenting your data, but the presentation of the data also have to be attractive and also have to work with the imagination. Current NGS, the sequence is very large because they've, they've got to be large to include the lasers and the cameras that you use for the actual image capturing and analysis. The way things are moving at the mo moment, we're getting more miniaturized uh, sequencing platforms that uh, don't rely on cameras and uh, lasers and that allows you to make much more portable, much smaller sequencing units that you could say take into the field in say, uh, you know, to a contagious disease outbreak kind of thing, you'd be able to do quick sequencing there, get a, a result much quicker than basically taking samples, shipping them back to the lab, processing them, running them, that kind of thing. So the implications of having these uh, smaller units that you can do this kind of thing with, it's going to be very, very useful going forward.